This is my 83 XJ6. I made a few mods. One of them is the XJS wheels that came from 95, 96 XJS. Third brake light, which came from an 86 XJ6. That was a nice little safety feature, I think. Great thing about the wheels is you can get um, a much wider variety of 16-inch tires. So the X, these XJS wheels make that possible. But what this video is about is really under the bonnet. I recently rebuilt the engine. It's got uh, almost uh, 350,000 miles on it, and I thought it was probably time. Turns out the engine was in very good condition, but still, uh, it was time. It was worn out, leaking at every seal and such things. So I made a few, mo a few modifications here as well. One of them is uh, coil unplug ignition. They're powered by a pair of EDIS um, ignition modules from uh, Ford over here. Each of these 86 modules control three cylinders. Uh, I couldn't make it work with a single module, but it works great with a pair of them. So effectively, I have two three-cylinder engines as far as the ignition is concerned. Coils are from a 2000 XJ, I'm sorry, um, S-Type Jaguar. I chose them because the way they mounted, the, the little mounting ears worked well with the type of stands that I built. Back here are the, uh, the relays for the ignition and for the fuel injection. And here is where the airflow meter used to live. And here is where the distributor used to live. No longer need a distributor. I used the original injectors and cold start system from the XJ, um, from the original ignition system. Um, as you can see, I'm still got a bit of tidying to do here, but I'll take care of that later. And uh, over here, where the airflow meter used to be, uh, I'm considering the use of uh, a modern air mass meter. You can use uh, the Ford system in here. So, think seriously about that. The whole system is controlled by the Mega Squirt uh, fuel injection system or excuse me, engine management system really, because it controls the ignition as well. The Mega Squirt lives back underneath the dashboard here, and it's tethered by a COM port, COM cable back to my, uh, my laptop. And the laptop has information on all of the essential uh, ignition parameters. And we'll watch this a little bit as it works. Here is a control stick for the 5-speed Getrag, uh, sourced from a BMW 5-series. Um, and here we can see we have about 347,000 miles. And I th I've known the car for about 30 years, so I think, I think we can say that that's probably true. Okay, let's get ready to go for a little Also got to tighten my steering belt. It's a little bit, a little bit loose, but no big deal. And away we go. The coil on plug system was my idea. Uh, I thought that would be cool to get rid of the wires and also clean things up a little bit. So I uh, um, spent a little research, a little time, and, and I had trouble trying to make it work with one unit because it didn't want to uh, um, if I series the coils I had too much resistance if I parallel them I had too little so um, neither one of them would work well with the EDIS module so I uh, so I had to find another way of doing it so by using a pair of them I could basically parallel the two of them, but uh, three of them operate three of the cylinders and the other three operate the other three. And it seems to work well. So, um, anyway, so we're riding along and everything's cool. So if the engine works great, um, the system does work. So if um, it 
anybody finds any of this interesting, just get in touch with me. I can tell you how I did it if you're if you want to hear. And uh, so that's about it. Everybody, take care, stay cool, and happy motoring.